Ah, oh, what a beautiful morning here on the farm. Welcome back to a, another episode of Pleasant View Red Farm. Uh, since last episode, we did wrap up our um, combining of wheat, and we did get our straw all baled. We did get our tractors and combine all brought back home. Uh, we have the baler right here setting. We also uh, brought the combine back and it is sitting over here in the machine shed. But today we're going to be working on making some hay for the cows. Uh, we're going to finish mowing this grass field beside the, the barn here, as long with tedding the hay to be made in to hay for the cows, which we will then probably make into round bales that will stack into the shed right here. So let's uh, head out to the field here and get started back again on mowing hay. And well, dad gave me a call. He said he'd be willing to run the uh, farm all here with the tether if I would get it going. So we'll make a, a pass here quick and then he'll take over for us there. So we got dad going there on the tether. We're going to hop in the uh, 986 here on the mower. And we're going to finish up mowing uh, this hay down. My plan is here we'll just kind of cut this in half and then we will kind of stay on one side or we'll kind of go down the middle and then we'll kind of go down the middle and then we will split it and stay on each side. So I want to thank everybody for watching the first episode. Uh, I'm just getting kind of new to the video making, so hopefully I learn how to edit a little bit better and everything comes a little bit nicer as we move through making videos here.
Look at that, we come out just about perfect one more time. Today must just really be my lucky day. Look at that, two times. So we're gonna just uh, tidy up these corners a little bit where I had missed some. And uh, we'll chat with Dad for a quick second, see what, uh, how the Ted's going for him. And we will probably jump into the next activity, which we will find out. We maybe we'll get the rakes hooked up and uh, greased up and ready to uh, rake this hay up once uh, we get done tedding. Hey there, Dad. How are you doing? Just wanted to know how things are going. Looks like it's doing a nice job. All right, sounds good. We will jump out of your way and let you continue on. Hopefully you don't get a sunburn out here. It's uh, pretty sunny to have that no hat on today there, Dad. So, all right, continue on. We will talk to you in a bit. All right, so we're just going to let him uh, keep doing his thing. We're going to run the mower up, uh, maybe give it a bit of a wash, and get it back in the shed. There we go, we got it all looking much better. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, backed into the shed. It does look like we could clean the baler up a little bit. It's a little dirty from bailing all that straw. Which all the straw we did end up putting right into the cow barn. So we don't have any available for anything else. We may have to buy some more straw. But we'll go ahead and get this backed in the shed and we'll be right back. Well, I was just in the barn here finishing up some of the chores with the cows. We did end up calling the dealer. We were in need of a skid loader, and I do believe it does look like they pulled in over there. So we're going to head on over to see what uh, he's got. Uh, we, we purchased this uh, from them. We struck up a deal and bought it. So looks like uh, Dale's here with our new skid loader. So we bought a, well, I should say used skid loader, but we did buy this nice New Holland L555 and a few attachments for it. We bought a bucket and uh, a manure fork and a bale spear for it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, talk to Dale here a little bit and get this thing unloaded as we are in need of it uh, with the cows. So we will get this uh, unloaded and we'll be right back and we'll probably be putting this thing straight to use so well Dale's left now he uh, works down there at JCL's farm equipment and he was nice enough uh, to, to deliver this up here for us so what we're gonna do is uh, we have a little bit of silage left in our barn here or uh, silo so we're gonna grab some silage and the rest of our commodities a little straw a little hay and make ourselves a batch of TMR for the cows so just stay put and we will get ourselves a batch of feed made. Looks like to work better if we maybe load on the other side. So we'll just spin the mixer around here so we can load a little bit on the other side. Actually, if we just back up here, we should be able to reach it. So we'll just park this here.
So I'll throw a little bit of straw in there. We won't maybe throw the whole bale in there, but we will throw Oh, about that much. That looks be good. So we'll go ahead and put this back for now. We'll go ahead and unhook the fail spear, which we will have to tip back over. We'll hook onto our bucket here. We do have a little bit of corn silos left uh, here in the silos, so we will grab us a couple buckets of that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just run this into the barn. We got our batch TMR made for the cows. So we'll just dump that off. Does look like that. Did get done tedding there with the farm wall. He's up back here in the shed, barnyard. So uh, we're going to go ahead and dump this out. And we're probably going to call that good for today. And next time we'll, we'll jump into making some hay. Might also get into making some corn silage. And might also even have uh, a treat of some little friends in the next video. So hopefully you guys stay tuned to this series. Leave a comment down below what you guys think, how things are going so far on the farm. And I uh, appreciate you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.